You know, it's Atlanta's number one hip-hop station. It's Hot 107.9. Your boy Radio God Stu in the building. And I got one of the biggest, dopest artists that's in the town, man. And when I tell you he has the one-liner of the year, it, it, if he anybody could have started a song off the right way, he started it off the right way. What'd you say? It's cool Crazy when they, they do it. it. It's, it's a problem, problem when I do, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Finesse Two Times is in the building, man. Memphis's own Finesse Two Times, bro. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. How about yourself? Man, cool and just working. Bumping this 90 days? Yes, sir, man. Make sure you go get that everywhere. Uh -huh. It's everywhere. Um, with 90 days, what, what what was the message that you was trying to trying to get across? Uh, like 90 days, just, you know what I'm saying, just surround like what I did the first 90 days out. Like everything mm -hmm. that I accomplished, you know what I'm saying, from signing with Atlantic to the thing with Bread Gang, with Bag, like, you know what I'm saying, like, everything, like, so much happened within 90 days, you know what I'm saying, so mm -hmm. we uh we decided to name the project 90 days. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned that you had to um do a little stint, a little, little time. Yeah. Um, what, what did that experience teach you? You know, I've been going to jail all my life, but, you know what I'm saying, this time it really taught me, like, I was getting too old. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To be playing Russian roulette with my life. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What what advice would you have for that young kid that, that listened to Finesse Two Time that, you know what I'm saying, he may be out in the streets doing something that he shouldn't be doing, you know what I'm saying? Like and I tell him, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I rap about what I used to do. I don't rap about what I do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I rap about what I used to do. So, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you thugging, you ain't got the thug to rap about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Memphis's greatest underrated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell me about, about that. that. Like, how did how did that form between you, Black Youngster, and Moneybag? Oh, it was just everybody had, everybody had, like, a wave in the city. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody had their own little thing going on. And <clears throat> one of our partners that knew all of us was just like, man, I think all of us should do a project. Mm -hmm. And we did it. it okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, was well received. I mean, is there is there plans for you guys to come back and collab again? You never know. Never know. You never know. <laughs> never know. Um, on this project, you know, I noticed that it isn't too many features. I mean, you got little baby Gucci Mane right. bag. You know, were you trying to like, you know, not you know put too many people on your album and give them give them some of you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most definitely, I was trying to give them majority of me. Like I want the, them to hear my story about this being my first project. You know, what I'm saying then. The title is sensitive. It's ninety days, so mm -hmm. it's my life. You know what I'm saying? It's my first ninety days, so mm -hmm. you know everything else was just a plus. You know, uh, what song on there do you feel like is is like the most personal to you when you when you listen to it? You like, damn, like I got real deep on them on this one. Oh, uh, rules to the street. Rules to the streets. Yeah. Okay. Can I tell you my favorite song? What is that? Some mo. <laughs> I gotta get some mo. <laughs> Big way. Um, now you know you caught a little heat. On the internet, over your over your iced out cuffs. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me, I mean, you know, you said that it represents freedom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? After you got out, do you do you look back at it and be like, you know what, you know, I could I could have you know done something different with that instead? No, nah. mm -hmm. no. Nah, like if you actually been through what I've been through, like I rode on a bus and these mm -hmm. like shackled all the way down, like mm -hmm. for thirty hours on a bus. Mm -hmm. So. I had whips when I got to where I made it to. Mm -hmm. So I just put it in my mind, I was like, well, when I get out, I'm going to bust this down. Like, just to remember these times. Like, a lot of times we don't remember where we come from. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I I get I got these, like, the rivers and freedom. Like, every time I look at it, it, it reminds me of where I come from. Mm -hmm. Help me move better. Mm -hmm. You know, it's different strokes for different folks. Mm -hmm. um, when you go in the studio these days, you know, I know it's probably different for for you now. You know what I'm saying? What was what was it like? You know, the first time you actually got in the studio when you got home. What was oh, the experience? Oh, I got in the studio the first night. It was like I had never lived. Okay. Yeah, like, it was like I had. I got straight in there and ran it. Mm -hmm. Ran about ten songs in one night. Mm -hmm. Um, you, um, I noticed that my boy XO. Yeah. Produced a uh, you know a large a lot, of, a, a lot of a lot of tracks on yeah. you know what is what is that you know that chemistry and that synergy between you guys like. Oh yeah, it's real good. Like XO do his thing. Like I, I, XO, I think was the first producer I worked with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I came home, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, XO liked it. Like mm -hmm. yeah, man, XO, we bounce off each other real good. 
Mm-hmm. Good people. Now that, now that 90 Days is out, it's going crazy. You know, I know you're hitting the road. What's the city that you're looking forward to, to, to getting to and, and turning up in? I love the Carolinas, man. Like, uh-huh. the Carolinas turn up, like, no matter what. Like, mm-hmm. North Carolina, South Carolina, mm-hmm. like, they turn up crazy. Like, really? no matter what, yeah. All the way. Uh, now, you being from Memphis, you know, Memphis, to me, Memphis is, like, taking the, the, the hip-hop flag and just, right. like, you know, just took it took it from everybody. You know, they, for a while, you know, New York had it, Cali, Atlanta. But now it just seems like, you know, all the good music is coming out of Memphis. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What do you attribute that to, like, the, the resurgence of, of Memphis hip-hop? I believe it just come from the hunger. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I, we live, we, we small. We got a real small town. Like, everybody know each other. You know what I'm saying? And, like, it got to the point now where people in Memphis starting to help each other. Like, they starting to, like, try to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, so, and I think it come from the hunger. Like, everybody trying to get out of that place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. I heard you, how'd you hook up with Mob Ties with, with Jay Prince Jr. And, and the team down there I in Texas? I met him through a, a mutual, a mutual uh, person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, he knew him and I knew him. You know what I'm saying? And I told him I just wanted to chop it up with him, see what he had. You know what I'm saying? Man, what he wanted to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I went with the move. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, when I listen to your music, you know, I get, I get big pimping. You know what I'm saying? Right. You be talking that pimp talk, you right. know what I'm saying? And you be breaking them down. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, are you currently dating? Are you currently in a relationship? No, nah, uh, I, just... I, I get around. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, 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 is, what does a woman have to possess? Like, what qualities do you look for, you know what I'm saying, in someone that you would potentially date? Uh, she she, she got to know how, like, she got to know how to treat a man without, like, without me having to tell her. Mm-hmm. Like, without me having to explain what to do or ask what to do or say what to do. Like, she got to know how to move. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got a pimp no more. <laughs> no so more. I don't need your money. <laughs> right. You see what I'm saying? So, you know. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Um, you know, just you know, looking at your neck and your wrist and your watch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of ice over there, my friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's your favorite piece? The watch. The watch. Let me let me see. Let me, let me see the glistening on that. Ooh. Yeah. Bust it all the way down. Yeah. <laughs> it's the watch. Absolutely, man. Hey, town. The homie finesse two times now. What do you, what do you feel like is next? You know, 90 days project is out right now. You know, I know you. I know you want to do some things outside of music, perhaps. You know, what what interests you? Um, like right now, like I ain't, I'm, I'm focused on this project right now, like pushing ninety days mm-hmm. all the way to the max. Like I know when the world hear this, like what I got to say. You know what I'm saying? Like especially with my testimony, mm-hmm. you never know. I might come with a documentary or something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I might do something like that. Definitely. I know for sure we got a deluxe coming. Okay. Yeah, deluxe, so, deluxe edition, ninety yeah, days coming. Yeah, going, yeah, add a few more tracks for y'all. Mm-hmm. Um, Memphis Grizzlies. I need a prediction. You know, what about it? What, what, what the Grizzlies going to do this season? I don't, you know, I don't know too much, but I know John Moran don't play. <laughs> I know that. I know that boy don't play. So yeah, like. Have you Have you ever been uh been able to go catch a game? I know you got to go put your yeah, feet on the wood court yeah, side. Yeah. What's 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 the energy like? Hey, it's big, now? man. Them, them Them dudes big. Uh huh. Them dudes be like, you know, all you all you can think about is, man, if all these dudes fall on me, dog, like, <laughs> like but it, 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 it's hard, though. It's hard. I like it. Okay. Uh, you are a man of, of morals and principles that, right. that you stand on, you know. What, what, what is that, you know, dedication to to that code and that, and that you know, those morals and principles? What, what did that, who instilled that in you? Life. Just mm-hmm. life experiences, like, you know what I'm saying, knowing the value of loyalty. Mm-hmm. Knowing the value of honesty, knowing the value of integrity, you know what I'm saying? Like just growing, bumping my head, not having them qualities. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Not having them, knowing and start realizing where I was bumping my head at because I didn't possess them qualities. But when I start striving to possess them qualities, my life started changing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I stopped lying, I stopped, you know what I'm saying? Everything was just. I feel like a man, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got to lie, I ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I can take care of my own business, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know, doing the type more of the principles I stand on, honesty, you know what I'm saying, loyalty, mm-hmm. you know? And that's where the clan come from. Okay, duh. Yeah, the clan. The clan. Yeah, gee, that's where they come from because, mm-hmm. because you know what I'm saying, like, I, don't, I really don't deal with the N-word. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just me and a couple of my guys. Mm-hmm. I don't deal with people. Okay. Because they don't possess them, them qualities. Right. Hey, time to homie finesse two times, man. I definitely want to, you know, appreciate you for taking time out, man. 90 Days is out now. You know we're going to run the streams up on that back end out. It's Black serious. Visa out. Samo out. Lil <laughs> Baby out. Come on. I could, I, don't make me name the whole album now. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> man, you got any shout outs, Vidot? Man, just shout out to God. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Shout out to the label. Yeah. Shout out to the clan. Shout out to the guy. That way. Yeah. Uh, tell the people where to follow you at, social media. Instagram one, finesse two times. Facebook, finesse two times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, YouTube. Oh, finesse two finesse times. Everything, finesse two times. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate you topping through, my dog. You know, it's Radio Guy, Stu Howard on 79. The doors are always open. You know what I'm saying? We're going to support you 1,000%. I appreciate you. I'm looking forward to more music, more videos. Yes, sir. You know, just having a good time and having fun and celebrating with you. Yes, sir.